What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, smash that like and subscribe button. It's free. Do it. Do it now. Anyways, jumping into today's video, we have a golf cart. So we got this thing and it was it was looking pretty rough when we first got it. Um, the tires were flat, all the, you know, it was covered in all kinds of stuff. So I'll show you guys that, but we gave it a quick little pressure wash, got it cleaned up. Um, we still need to do something with the seats. They're, uh, they're pretty nasty. I'm, I'm hoping that we can maybe use like a magic eraser with some awesome or something like that. Maybe it'll clean them up a little bit. If not, I'm you know, going to try and figure out some other option. Um, if you guys know of a way on how to get these things clean, definitely let me know. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, when we first bought it, the batteries in this thing were duds. So we went ahead and put some freshies in it. So now it runs, drives, all that good stuff. But basically what we're going to be tackling today is we've got a lift kit. We've got some wheels and tires. We've got spacers, lug nuts, pretty much the essentials to make this thing pretty cool. So hopefully it turns out like I have it pictured in my head. We'll see. But that's, that's what we're getting into today. So stick with us. We're going to make this thing look nice. Now on a side note, I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with this, but there's no worse feeling ever than when you go to get in a truck and you turn the key and it does nothing. So went to move my wife's truck and all I got was a click. So I'm sure it's time for batteries, which obviously if you know any of you guys have diesels, you know they used to. So we're gonna charge them up, see if, uh, See if maybe they'll hold. I don't know if maybe her trailer just drained it down for some reason or if, if we've got something else going on there. Maybe we have a draw, something like that. But I don't know. Hopefully it's not bad. But yeah, like I said, not really a good feeling when you want to get something out of the way. So now we're going to have to work around that, but not a big deal. So I don't know which box we should open first, but I'm pretty sure this one's the lift. So let's go ahead and uh, get this one open here. Want some instructions? Cause I don't. Yeah. So we went with the four inch drop or four inch lift, I guess you could call it. Um, looks pretty simple, honestly. Looks like it's just a couple brackets and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So. And get all this laid out here, see what we've got. Red Loctite so they don't go anywhere. We definitely don't want these falling off when we're doing like 80 down the road, you know what I mean? So, spacers look pretty nice. We went with, uh, with two inch spacers, so definitely won't have to cut any studs or anything like that, but I think this thing's gonna be slick. I'm excited. All right, so we've got all our parts laid out here. Um, like I said, we've got some spacers, we've got some lug nuts, and we've got our lift. Um, now again, I've never lifted a golf cart before, but this looks extremely simple. So if I had to guess without looking at the instructions, which are right there if we need them, but we're not going to, this is our front drop bracket. It's going to go right here, which I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'll zoom in right there. That guy is bent. So if you're looking at the front of the cart, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but over here, You've got a much bigger gap than you do over here. That's how it's supposed to sit. That side's bent, so it's not gonna work. So, gave us a good reason to go ahead and lift this thing. Um, but yeah, anyways, getting into the lift. So, front drop, I'm assuming these are the rear drop brackets using the factory shock locations. 
These are cool because they still retain the factory shock location. So we don't have to do anything with shocks or try and find extended shocks, anything like that. Um, what I do want to do is I want to check these, make sure they fit on the spacers, all that good stuff. Then I want to take the spacers, make sure they fit on the wheels, so on and so forth. And then, uh, then we'll get busting on this thing. So. Oh, they're oily. Which I guess looking at it now, we may not have needed lug nuts, depending on how the factory ones fit inside of here um, or what the factory ones look like. But I don't think, I don't know. These are gonna look good regardless. So we've got them. If they work, we'll use them. And they do, so nice. That'll work. Now, like I said, I want to make sure that these fit the actual wheels. Because what's the point of spacers if they don't fit wheels? That's, that's a bad day, so. Come on, there we go. So we did buy these wheels and tires used. They are a little crusty. Maybe we can clean them up, maybe not. If not, not a big deal. It's a golf cart, not a show truck, so. And they fit, yay, look at that. Man, this is working out perfect. So, that's all good. So now, that we know everything's gonna fit, everything's gonna work, we'll go ahead and throw the jack under here, get this thing lifted up, and get it going. Like I said, I'm excited. I think this thing's gonna look cool, so. Enough chitter chatter, let's get at her. Oh yeah. So I'm not gonna make you guys sit through and watch me put this lift on. I'm gonna listen to some music, go ahead and rock this thing out. So I'll see you guys in about two seconds when we have it done. So we have the lift on, it is done. It is complete on the front, not the back yet. We just, we've been messing up here. So it took me a little while um, cause I wanted to make sure that these were nice and tight. We've got to, we had to adjust these a little bit. I don't know that it's perfect yet, but um, we'll, we'll base that once we get on the ground we'll measure and make sure everything's good but man that looks so much better already nice little drop the only thing that i thought was weird about this lift is on the original bracket this is on this side to hide the shock bolt and on this side it's flipped and at first i thought i had the lift on backwards but when you pull it off and you're looking at the top of it and the way the leaf springs come in um, there's really really only one way for it to go um, they're both kind of angled in towards you know a point right here so it wasn't on backwards so that was a waste of time as well um, but we need to go through put cotter pins and everything button all that up but got the spacers on they're locked tighted in um, and tightened down so I'm really excited to see how this thing's gonna look once it's on the ground but so let's go ahead and get one of these wheels mounted up So side note, before we get the wheels mounted up and all that stuff, now that this one's actually off, you can see a little bit better right where all this rust is. Um, right through here is where it's kind of bent up and it's bent back. So it was kind of throwing everything out of whack, but definitely needed to be replaced. And again, if we're gonna replace it, might as well do something cool with it. So, but yeah, you can see what I was talking about on the shock mounts, they kind of hide the bolts, but I'm gonna miss my little tow hook. I don't know what for, but anyways. So yeah, we need to get this uh, stuff mounted up and go from there, but I haven't had time to cut my grass this week. So I've got some help over there getting it done.
can't forget the center caps, man. Golly. Gonna have to pull that other one back off. But... Oh, man. Well, that's a sad day. It's gonna look so cool. All right, now I'm confused because this side clears perfectly fine. But that side over there doesn't clear at all. I don't know what's going on here. I guess I'm gonna have to investigate that. I don't know if maybe this is just not pushing. Well, no, that's where it's supposed to be. So what in the world? How come turning left, if it'll turn? catches right there. I don't know why. All right, well, I'm gonna dive into this and see what's going on and update you guys because I really don't want to take these spacers off. I like them. They're pretty cool. All right, so we're not gonna be able to run the two inch spacers. That's okay. I went ahead and ordered some inch and a half ones. We're gonna try those. They should be here in about two days. So uh, we're running out of daylight today. I guess I'm gonna go eat, hang out, you know, for the rest of the night and jump back to this thing tomorrow, knock the back out. And then, uh, you know, once we get our new spacers, get them stabbed on. But in the meantime, I'm going to see what this looks like with just the wheels, you know, mounted flush um, with no spacers. That way we know at least, you know, worst case scenario, we've got a base of where we can sit and that it's still going to work, blah, 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 blah. So... If it doesn't work, then we've got to order a different lift. And the only thing I can find for these older golf carts is a four inch lift. So we got to make something work. Otherwise, the other thing I thought about was maybe coming up in here where it mounts to the leaf spring um, and building some quarter inch plates to, you know, kind of space this piece down some more. But then you got to get into building, you know, your center notch and all that stuff. So I really don't want to go that deep with this thing. I'd like to just have everything work so we're gonna take these spacers off get it back flush mounted and see how it looks so stay tuned well, that's stupid that's cool and that's stupid oh well it is what it is but definitely shouldn't have an issue turning now at all anywhere whatsoever doesn't look like we do so Either way, we'll, we'll try those uh, one and a half inch spacers and maybe that'll be the ticket. All right, now let's see if we clear. Yeah, no problems. Yeah, we got days of room now. We are back at it again today. We're gonna to go ahead and finally get this backside finished out, get the wheels and tires thrown on until we wait on our new spacers to come in. We should have them tomorrow. Um, so hopefully we can get all that squared away and it'll be good to go. Hopefully it won't rub, but I am a little upset. I came out this morning and these two front tires were flat. I don't know if maybe they didn't seat the bead all the way. Uh, maybe they still had some uh, bead lube or whatever that stuff is um, that you put on it before you put them on the wheel I don't know if maybe you know they just kind of slipped off didn't have enough air in them or something like that so I went ahead and threw 20 pounds in them I'm gonna let them sit see what happens so we'll keep an eye on those hopefully they'll be all right like I said I bought them used and I bought the wheels used so there's really no telling whatsoever but we're gonna go ahead pop these back tires off um, each side obviously get the drop brackets in there if you've never lifted one of these up and put them on jack stands it's honestly kind of complicated because there's really nothing underneath like structurally that you can put the jack stands under or anything like that so i don't know i just stuck them under the leaf springs we'll see what happens maybe it'll fall maybe it won't i don't know but yeah so we're gonna knock this thing out and it should be looking pretty cool today so i know i told you guys i wasn't gonna make you sit through and watch us put this lift on but i changed my mind halfway through you're going to have to suffer. I'm sorry, but you just got to watch. I mean, what's the point of not being... Let me let me think about how I want to say this. How can you enjoy it if you don't have to go through the pain of making it happen, right? Now, I'm not getting motivational here because I don't care, but y'all are going to have to watch it. It's just 
just what it is what it is. So enjoy. quick things one always put your hardware back together so if you've got nuts lock washers all that stuff put it back together it makes the job a lot easier you can find what you're looking for a lot easier number two now this applies for trucks golf carts whatever's got leaf springs so when you have leaf springs and you're doing your blocks or leaves or bracket whatever you're doing to change the rear so you'll see we've got the rear end jacked up as well as jack stands so Basically, what you want is you want the body or the frame to be stationary. And then you want to be able to use the jack as your leverage to drop the axle or raise the axle. So that's what we're doing here. Now, the key thing here is you can't really just unbolt this side and drop it. So you want to go to the other side and you want to loosen it up and get it, you know, somewhat loose as well. That allows you the, the range of movement that you need in order to get these blocks in. The other thing is, and especially with trucks and how heavy axles can be, you don't want to just unbolt each side because um, then when your drive shaft goes into the pinion, it'll just drop straight down and then it's a pain to try and line up. You could put a jack stand under it, but then you're just fooling with more stuff. It's, it's a lot easier if you just loosen one side um, and then take one side completely off, get your blocks in, get it you know, somewhat set, and then go to the other side, do the same thing, and then go back and tighten both. But just a quick little tidbit on that so we're gonna get this other side loosened up get the shock off and get back to it
got the rear on. Now, there's a few things I don't like about this lift. Granted, I know it is just for a golf cart, um, but it's one of those things that kind of bother me. So, for instance, these bolts don't have any washers under here, nor any washers under here. I would prefer to have washers, but that's, you know, just kind of one of those things. It's not a big deal. It's going to be fine without them. The other big thing is right here on the shock, you really want a washer that is as big as the bushing. So you want it to go all the way around the bushing so that the bushing can't push out. Granted, again, it is just a golf cart. It may not have that issue at all, but still would have been nice if, you know, they had provided a bigger washer. So what I did just for a little bit better convenience sake is the washer that was out here. Um, I stole off this bolt and put up there, but like on this one, the factory mount, the shock sits inside of each side. So there's no way that that bushing can pop out. Again, just one of those little minor, you know, things that just doesn't sit well with me. The other thing I don't like is this block has the cutout in the top for the, um, leaf spring alignment dowel. The bottom should have a protruding, uh, man, these, these freaking gnats out here today are wild and I don't know why, but they're bothering the mess out of me. But anyways, so the bottom of the block should have a little nipple that should line up in the bottom of this perch. Well, it doesn't. So you kind of just have to line it up, you know, with the block the best you can and hope that these U-bolts hold it in place. So I understand it's not going to go fast. It's not, you know, going to get jumped or anything like that. At least I won't jump it, but I don't know. I might, we'll see. But anyways, so it, it should be fine. It's just, again, one of those, one of those little things that I would, that's what I would like to see on it. Um, but it'll hold up just fine. So we're going to slap these wheels on it, see how it looks all the way around and then uh, take it for a test ride. Well, I did it again. Forgot my center caps, so. Gonna jack it back up, throw these center caps back on, which really, actually I might as well just wait because we have wheel spacers coming. So yeah, never mind. disregard. I'm not as smart as I don't look. All right, it worked out great. This thing looks freaking awesome. Minus it doesn't have any wheel spacers, but hey, we're, we're gonna get past that. not too bad i mean it sits fairly level definitely looks a whole lot better than it did but we've got a, a new battery indicator to put on gotta obviously put our center caps back on um, again we need to try and clean these seats up some um i'm gonna try and bring the paint back a little bit it's a uh, kind of dusty looking so I need to get that squared away i just figured out what was going on with our tail light over here so we'll get that all taken care of all right, so it's been a few days since we last messed with the golf cart. Um, we did get our wheel spacers. They're on, they're working. It does still scrub just a small amount, um, but I think it'll self-clearance. So not too worried about that. Um, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Now, i say it's been a few days. We had a little bit of an issue with our tires going flat. So, you know, again, like I said, these are used wheels and tires. So the dude I bought the tires from, um, he did give me a fair warning up front. He said, Hey, you know, these have some sidewall cracking and everything like that. I just want to let you know before you come get them. And I was like, Oh, that's cool. You know, do they hold air? As long as they hold air, you know, I'm good with it. I'll come get them everything like that. So he assured me they hold air. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everything's fine. They hold air. Okay. So I bought them and guess what? They didn't hold air. So we ended up having to get two tubes put in the front ones. Um, not a big deal. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but I mean, it, it still works. So either way, it turned out all right. Um, as far as the paint, it's dirty now because we've been having fires and stuff, but um, threw some wax on it and it came out a lot better 
than what I expected. Like you can definitely tell it's a little more shiny. Um, so we're gonna do that the rest of the way around. We did get a windshield off Amazon. Um, so again, part of the whole little budget build was, you know, kind of finding nice stuff at an affordable price. Um, we got our battery gauge working. I do have a new one if I decide to swap it out, but I think for now we'll roll with that one. But yeah, so overall, um, this thing turned out pretty well. Again, like I said, it is just a little budget build. Um, still need to get our seats cleaned up and get all that stuff squared away, but um, I haven't quite decided if I want to sell this one or not. Um, if, if anybody's interested, definitely let me know. But yeah. Looks much better with those spacers on it for sure. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. And again, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the flip side.